This might get weird. Are we rolling? We're rolling. Well, then cheers, Grace Helbig. Cheers, baby. I would just like to say, I got to give it up to us because I feel like if we went back in time about six to eight months, you and I were both just drinking disposable plastic things. Mm. And we now we have a fleet of sturdy ass drinkware. Yeah. You know, one of the things that has changed over the last eight months, you might say. (laughs) I would say it's as probably wear, the biggest victory in our life of the last eight months. As I wear the ain't dead yet hat that hey. your friend so beautifully gifted me. I love it. I love it. You guys, you. Oh. I just need to tell you right now. We're coming in hot. We're coming in, in many ways. hot and also dead cold because <laughs> we just finished doing, I'm not kidding, 100 cameos in the last... 26 hours we did um 78 of them today today we uh, yes we did we just 78 did, well, and why did we do 78 because our timing isn't great yeah look could we have spaced this out for ourselves yes but i yeah i'm, I'm traveling tomorrow and didn't want to put it off and wanted to get it all done and so we hunkered down and my god we got 78 cameos sent out that honestly not a dud in the bunch i would agree <laughs> with you I'm, and maybe i'm being this confident because we just did 78 cameos as our aunts yeah yeah and yeah. and so yeah. my level of confidence is even more i was skewed and crazier than my normal my normal personality i was almost gonna suggest should we just do this roll into this podcast episode as the ants we but get a lot of requests to do that guys it would i don't know see i it might be fun or incredibly obnoxious and I polarizing agree. <laughs> i agree i feel like we could do maybe like a 15 minutes ants rants special episode for patreon yeah that would be fun to do on patreon especially because it feels like the ants are like a hit or miss for people. Yeah, I think people and I, love them or cannot stand them. <laughs> or think they're obnoxious. You know, there's a... They, they are. They're, they're born out of an era of YouTube mm-hmm. where people were experimenting with character work. Well, everyone was auditioning <laughs> for SNL. Yeah, yeah, The yeah. people around us being in New York. So everyone was going to do it. I, I'm not going to shit talk our ants right now. Okay? I love Cladoris them. Cladoris and Margaret Cho just worked their little librarian asses off to do these cameos honestly i think they gave some sound advice to some very very sweet people yes we uh so thank you to everyone who bought a cameo uh they should be in your inbox right now raising money for pcrf yeah and if you didn't buy a cameo just donate too bad it was too bad and donate to pcrf (laughs) directly (laughs) me see i'm already launching into and mode of being like she's right there under the surface (laughs) um but anyway we did so many today because grace going out of town but then also because yeah yesterday grace came over and we were doing some cameos and i got the worst migraine of my life yeah yeah you got wow well you you've been getting these aura well this is my second one ever okay so i've gotten like headaches before and this is always great to open up an undiagnosed medical situation no 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 No, i'm not saying sorry i'm saying sorry to you from the possible feedback that you might get that this is what this is this is what this Uh, is well (laughs) i've got a doctor's appointment which as you know if you've heard and listened to this podcast you know that like the appalachia is strong with me when it comes to doctors so luckily our friend grace was like uh yeah, I was like, listen, I'm, I'm going to have to make a doctor's I'm appointment. I'm not fucking around with yeah. you not making doctor's appointments. At one point, I touched her on the shoulder and touch is a big thing for me. It is. And I said, I'm going to gently continue to remind you that you need to go to a doctor. I don't want to stress you out because I know the whole situation is stressful. And this goes for all of you yeah. out there. Yeah. I've been because you know what's crazy? Here's another thing. This Sunday. No, this mm, Sunday. Yeah, this Sunday, April 14th will be the one year anniversary of when I went to the gynecologist. I had my gynecologist appointment last year and I asked her about the lump in my breast. It's been a year. That That's the beginning of this the process. journey. Yeah, that was the first. Wow. And I wasn't even I was looking back last night on my camera roll because I'm going to post something on Sunday yeah. about it. And I was trying to see, like, what pictures did I take that day? And my pictures from that day are me going and doing a voiceover for Jellystone. And then, like, 
pulling car pulling archetype cards and writing a post on our Patreon. Like I was so uninterested right. or or unaffected by the like s- possible severity yeah. of what was happening in that appointment that I didn't um capture or document any of it the day was busier with other things yeah it's interesting i mean that is such like a human thing now because you wouldn't remember what you were doing you know in the olden times yeah yeah. but now it'd be like what was i doing the day before he blindsided dumped me (laughs) what was i doing the day before this other before i got fired you know like let me see those few moments of me being blissfully unaware of the bad news at hand so wow do you remember did it show what cards you pulled yeah, there was. Um, I'm gonna go back and look at it. it it's a Patreon post that I I use the cards for. It was like the seed and the <gasps> castle or something like that. I think we might have which, talked about this back in the day. I remember the seed. It sounds familiar. Yeah, there was something. I gotta go back and, and make more. This was like literally. I couldn't sleep last night, so obviously, let me put the glaring glow of my phone in my face and go back in time a year and see what's on my phone yeah. and see what's going on. But that said, obviously, this year has been incredibly transform transformational for me in terms of my advocacy for health Dark so doctors. as soon as you were like i'm right having now. another one of these headaches i was like it is time y'all get you a grace <laughs> get you a grace and get you a doctor's appointment um this is off topic yeah but i was just messing with my little t-string over here i saw you uh <laughs> <laughs> saw you fiddling <laughs> As one Did you does. say the entire time doing cameos, I was playing with a bobby pin? Or you know, I I'm didn't crazy. See that. I gotta have a little something <laughs> you over need here. A fidget spinner. I need the little the coin that the magicians yeah, do yeah. through the hands. But anyway, I made myself a little Earl Grey tea. Uh huh. Um, as one does when they just talked for hours and hours and hours and realized they were about to talk some more. Yep. You know how the little tea things will have like a little a nice saying, a message on it. Yeah. This motherfucker has a QR code. <laughs> Oh, no. When did we get to the point that even tea, which I think is like a very old school, traditional, you don't need to keep up with current times yeah. type of treat is now doing what a is QR- it taking you to? I don't know. A, is it like the message is now? I don't know. It QR says take code? a moment for you. Take them. I mean, look how the, peaceful this moment is. Look of how- her trying to hover her phone over this teeny <laughs> tiny QR code. It's a new phone, too, by the way. I did know. I tell you that? Yeah, thank God, because that's how we recorded all. I don't think I'd had the storage space on my phone to do all the cameos that we just did. Okay, it goes to the Bigelow T website, okay. and then it has it has a thirty second video that it says unmute, listen, unwind, and relax. I'm not really interested. You know, I mean, or yes. Wait, it, we we should say yes. <laughs> oh, it's a cr- it's Is a it crackling just fire ambiance. Yeah, it's oh. just it's just a video of a hot tea in front of a roaring fireplace that's okay. 30 seconds long. Okay. Okay. I you know They what? really said call map. Check this out. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm I would love the just go back to the little phrases. <laughs> Just tell me, like, a day of calm is worth a year of noise or something. I mean, this is so stupid. Yeah. I don't like it, I don't. but it's very representative of where our society is headed. It's true, because think about it. If you're a little old lady yeah. who loves hot tea, yeah. and you've been delighted in the little phrases you get all the time, like, yeah. you know what's next? Yeah fortune cookies with qr codes instead of fortune it's gonna happen i bet it already already has the qr codes on tv are so funny because it's just picture like you holding your phone up to the tv do it all the time it's great um oh did you see this the crystal light has mocktails now we are we are in yeah we are on the highway of the kinds (laughs) of conversations that i adore what are you talking first so, bigelow teas is in this century crystal and now light crystal light has on the go immunity drink mix but they're like watermelon margarita <gasps> blackberry mojito mai tai i'm sorry there's zero percent chance when you have flavors that are cocktails that you aren't uh-huh. ex- like people Inspired are adding rum co- to that oh for sure but this is going i think there's a big mocktail and that's true sober curious trend happening in society and so i feel like someone had sent this to us to see if we had seen it especially you know you're a crystal light girly (gasps) honey crystal light is my drag name uh and i'm just gonna do lines of pink powder (laughs) cups of pink powder honestly great concept pretty good right really good Um, no here well here that's what i wonder is it's like if i was if I was quitting drinking, would I 
like does that crystal light watermelon margarita actually have like hints of tequila flavor or is it just that it's watermelon and we're just sticking the margarita at the end you know what i mean that's what i'm curious about this i'm looking at this currently on target.com and there are zero reviews of it so that's a bit unfortunate i bet they're on tiktok every Mm. people love beverages on tiktok really yeah see i don't watch like i haven't gotten into the just routine of looking at tiktok and i told you i've started to do it at the end of the day like when i get in bed yeah and i also (laughs) told you i can't can't really fall asleep before 1 a.m anymore (laughs) yeah and i have not yet accepted the direct correlation who knows if they have anything to do with each other no one really knows no but i'm really big into food talk and like i told you i'm into um i'm I love watching the Gen Zers and their insane yeah. routines and how I'm like, yeah. do my eyebrows look good right now? Yeah. Guess what? They're not filled in. Right. I did the just five for men hair dye two days ago or, or beard dye. Hack. It's my favorite new thing. I'm like, these kids are really onto something. Yeah. They really know what they're doing. They are going to change the world. It is pretty incredible. If they're going to change the world if they can afford to, because yeah. I see people who are 26 using $700 worth of skincare. Oh, yeah. Are these daddy's credit cards? I don't mean to sound (laughs) condescending, but I'm truly like when I was 27, I was like rocking an Irish spring that I also put on my butt. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I had no concept of of, uh, skincare at all because beauty gurus had only just started on YouTube like at that era. What an era, though. I feel like that era Um, is over, right? What era? beauty gurus on youtube oh everyone's on everyone's a beauty guru now still i think so how much beauty can be beaut i mean we're uh, that's what you're seeing like people talk on tiktok right what no, would they be considered no but i'm not watching people do like makeup routine i guess it's like the Skincare. makeup era it's more like come with me on my daily routine and so oh. i'm watching them like make a frittata and do their face and show me how they like roll their bangs i you know what i'm like laughing at that but i literally I have a video it. that i'm editing called day of grace really? where it's all about me doing nice things for myself for the Ta- day will you give us a sneak peek well, of what kind of thing i have to edit it it's just mostly gardening i mostly you're a gardener no because eh, lest we forget i bought myself a bunch of gardening stuff um right before my treatment started because i thought maybe this would be something i got into wow i did not and i have neglected all the plants that are what happened something is in your drink there's a gnat <laughs> there's a gnat we're nature there, girl there she is <laughs> a little you know what one of the things the girls talk about on tiktok is oh, you got to get those hits of protein <laughs> this is me being a self-care girly <laughs> Did you know that nearly 75% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking streaming services, fitness apps, delivery services. It's never ending. And thanks to Rocket Money, I can no longer waste money on the ones that I forgot about. And you can be saved too. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, you have full control over the subscriptions and a clear view of your expenses. You can see all of your subscriptions in one place. And if you see something you don't want, Rocket Money can help you cancel it with a few taps. You can see the dashboard that shows you this month's spending compared to last month. So you can clearly see your spending habits. Plus, they'll help you make a custom budget and help keep your spending on track. Rocket Money will even try to negotiate lower bills for you by up to 20%. All you have to do is submit a picture of your bill and Rocket Money takes care of the rest. They'll deal with the custom customer service for you. What? That's incredible. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has saved a total of $500 million in canceled subscriptions. You heard me right. Saving members up to $740 a year when using all of the app's features. So stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions by going to rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. That is rocketmoney.com slash TMGW. One more time rocketmoney.com slash tmgw but they yeah i neglected all of my plants and so i finally was like i'm gonna spend today uh doing all of this and honestly it was really nice because i wasn't on my phone all day 
I was okay. like, do I was making myself dinner. I was giving Goose a bath. I was doing all these other like house Aww. things. And I realized like, oh, this actually turned out to just be a day that I didn't look at my phone like at all. Okay, I love this. And this is actually an account I got sucked into on TikTok last night. Yeah. Which I understand the irony of what I'm about to say. Okay, okay. But the TikTok account was... It was called like hobbies something or that was the series the person was doing that was like, hey, where well, I'm trying new hobbies to show you if you are also very tired of just staring at your phone. Oh, that's nice. Now, granted, yeah. I was staring as, at my phone as I watched her do air clay crafts. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, But yeah. the idea that there might be a collective <laughs> where it's like, hey, look, I know I'm yeah. going to scroll on my phone. So I need to put away specific time for me to like, yeah, stare at other things that aren't screens. That's why people are knitting a lot. Because oh. not obviously into the summer, but because it utilizes both hands oh God. and it's like a anxiety calming activity. Well, that's like for a brief moment in time, I flirted with the idea of doing a series grace attempt stuff. And I like that gas for sure. <laughs> so that I think maybe had one or two videos out there. Uh, and then it was very short lived. Uh. Turns out stuff wasn't for me. Some of it. But this was really nice. Gardening is it took a while for it to be fun, but now the plants are so much happy because okay. the weird thing is the guilt I felt. Oh, these because living, of living things. things. And they have been, it's mostly succulents and they have been suffering. Succulents are like armadillos, you know, they're Ugh. like indestructible. And these Ugh. things have been like very severely struggling and it made me feel emotional for these these plants but okay, now you're they're anthropomorphizing all... the but they're plant. alive they are alive <laughs> i know but like i would have to straight up put googly eyes on them yeah to which, care. You, which could could be really fun but they are now in happy new planters wow and i feel really nice when about did you it. do this on sunday i will say since you're in your beast mode era yeah like gardening is definitely a physically taxing hobby oh i was i have a bliss look have you seen my arm is all scratched up and yeah. bruised from trying to pull plants out of their old planters and put them in new ones wow so, yeah very ex uh good for you yeah i was really enjoying it and then you know went from a day of that to a day of 78 talking head video <laughs> just staring into my phone and being like why did i get a migraine this right. is so i'm squinting into a small device and performing a very intense voice for a while oh speaking of keeping your hands busy though yeah i took um an uber the other day and for about like two-thirds of it yeah. i thought this guy was like jerking off or something what and then, but I was like, this is like an old sweet man. Like, this is so weird. <laughs> but this noise was like, I was like, what's going on? He had a little stress reliever, <gasps> but he was squeezing it a lot. Like, down the, and so I was like, what's worse him jerking it or him being so nervous to be driving right now <laughs> yeah that's a bit tough that you hear this just squeaky it noise was the whole time before i finally just i finally just couldn't take it anymore i was like i need to know whether to get out of the car or not yeah, like what's yeah. happening and then it was just like one of those little like squeezy stress toys but i was like man this guy's going through it wow yeah I'm i want to see the driver's hands at all times <laughs> but also like a toy for stress that creates more stress for your uh the person in your environment it was like a a very <laughs> muted dog toy yeah to where i was like is there a rat in this car yeah yeah yeah, that yeah. who i respect <laughs> <laughs> rat gate in our comments after that elliot yeah thing. yeah yeah guys look we weren't saying anything no. rude to people that love rats we, we think pa all pets are precious it was just the idea that 12 people were crammed into a very small room it was just and the that optics. elliot had to do the thing of taking this rat's life we, and that they all cried and it was just an, an insane absurd visual we respect rat owners yeah and we love all animals um that said i did not want one to be in an uber with me exactly luckily, i know it wasn't no i just saw ratatouille and i know that you just saw it yeah i've never seen it but it's pretty great i've heard people love it people really love it i thought it was good uh <laughs> you know Pat Oswalt is out there doing his thing. God, he makes a lot of money in voiceovers. But this is from like 2012 or 2007 or something. This is an older movie at this point. Yeah. Uh, but there's, oh, I really want to go to, I can't get tickets. They sell out every time they announce them, that Fork and Film. 
Have you yes, seen this? Yes, where you They're like doing... get dinner that are themed to the movie. Yeah, you, you, it's like a two hundred bucks a ticket or Damn, something. Yeah, okay. it's crazy, and they. Will announce their ticket drops, and it's like Ratatouille is one of the movies. I don't know if I could do it. Yeah, well, there's Ariel coming up, and there was you mean the Little Mermaid? Yeah, the Little Mermaid, <laughs> Ariel, that one. <laughs> like, I'm. Uh, we did a slowly. cameo for someone named Ariel today, yeah. and I just popped into the camera singing ah yeah. as as Clodoris. <laughs> anyway, yes, Ariel uh, the Little Mermaid. Yeah. And well, that one you got to eat lobster and you should right? brush your hair with a fork. Right. Yeah. But I can't. These tickets sell out so fast and I can't get tickets. And Ratatouille is one of them that I was like, oh, this would be a fun one because he's a chef and there's all these like sit down dinner things. Wait a second. Is this through Disney? Is this another no. example of your Disney adult no, showing? No, but you know what I started looking up last night? What? That I, because we are now in conversations. We're in double the conversation date. phase about the double date to take you guys to Disney. Double date to Disney, baby. They do cocktail Stop. classes at Disney. What? They do cocktail classes at Disney. Um, they. I was looking up. They do one at the Tiki Hut. Cute. But it's like uh, all sold out. Damn. I know. And I think it might only be for food and wine like that's happening right now. Got I was it. trying to look it up, but I was like, oh my God. And there was one where they teach you how to make like the drinks that they serve over in Star Wars, mm, like Galaxy's Edge. Ropes. And like you all make these crazy cocktails. Damn. That would be so fun. I love um, going to a cocktail class because I like sitting there like. I know. I We were watching a Disney uh, vlog of people and they were doing it. And I was like, oh, my God, Mamrie would have such a field day at this. This would be actually so fun to just watch you in that class. I would love um, to. Have you heard that Cheesecake Factory has merch coming out? How haven't they already? They, I know. Uh, introducing cake merch launching 415. And it's just merch that says, like, it's a piece of cake. And this is my date night shirt. I think I can't tell it just they it, we, they've cooked up some they haven't shown us exactly what it is oh there's like a beach towel maybe that looks like the iconic bags and the tote oh, bags well, see that's what I want I yeah. want things with the iconic cheesecake factory stripes and stripe right. colored and the bag itself is always like a little cream colored mm -hmm. I don't need I see the irony and the whole like this is my date night shirt since there was that tiktok that went viral about like he took me on it if he takes you on a date yes. to tech uh, to cheesecake factory like get out of there yeah which i uh, will have to agree to disagree with yeah. that person yeah no i will vehemently disagree yeah okay but um i'm i like i like restaurants that do merch yeah i didn't know that it wasn't really a thing until right. a lot of people have slid in our dms to ask us if we've heard of this yet because you know it's launching the 15th and okay. today's the 9th send so. us some stuff you're the one who was dming with them <sighs> they the, yeah, i got merch. one dm in tiktok which the hardest thing for me to find yeah was where my messages <laughs> were in tiktok if you've ever messaged me and then when i got to my messages yeah it's all photos of old men asking if they can touch my feet Really? Like, but it's all bots. Like, it looks like bots. It's like, hi, honey, would you like a sugar daddy to Should support? Should I be offended that I get none of these? That's, are you looking in the right place? It took me Probably like seven not. years to figure out how to oh. get to my messages. And then I was like, this is what's been waiting for me over here. Damn. What a letdown. Okay. You know what is the most unhinged restaurant? No. We might have talked about this before. I don't know. Bubba Gums. Oh, yeah. Because they have one. I mean, they have a million of them. Yeah. But they have one in the um, the Cabo. It was either the Cabo or the, the Cancun airport. I forget. Whichever one I was like still tequila raging through my veins, you know, like coming through being like, let's just get something to eat. Yeah. And like I knew I know it's based on Forrest Gump and that part and the shrimp boat and there's yeah. I'll make a shrimp this way and that way and all that stuff. But I didn't realize like how much they actually incorporate the film Forrest Gump, like when you walk up at the hostess stand on this one, yeah. there was a bench, you know how Forrest sits on the bench yeah. with like his sneaker, like metal, his running shoes there. <laughs> really? Like I thought it was like, okay, we're taking, we're making a seafood restaurant yeah. that will, that is sprung forth from Forrest Gump. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a Forrest Gump 
themed restaurant. Yeah, me either. That I've been there before. That movie is not that good. <laughs> wow, you're going to offend a lot of people. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Sally Field is uh, ethereal in it. But like as a whole, I don't think, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They don't have that many best picture chain restaurants. No, I didn't. I've eaten at Bubba Gump's and did not realize that it yeah. was themed to uh, Forrest Gump. That's um. Oh, they how... have like framed costumes and things. It's I like think Planet Hollywood. The only time I've uh, eaten is in an airport there and it's usually mm. when i'm have been wildly hung over in my life yeah. so i'm not paying attention to the You're details just trying to get of some the buffalo restaurant. shrimp or <laughs> yeah. some butterfly shrimp i'm trying to get something breaded and fried as fast as possible jaffiel jaffiel oh we should t- we do um cultural stuff me grace <laughs> and elliot went to a show on saturday yeah, we went to a comedy show. Can you believe it? We left the house. The theme of it was cults. Yeah. Uh, this guy, Moses, did it. But it was just hilarious because they had you put on masks yeah. and robes. And it was like, let's go to a show and barely be able to see each other. I lo- I kept my mask on for the majority of the show. I didn't even realize it was still on. I was just like, oh, I feel safe suddenly. I convinced oh. myself it was itching. <laughs> really? <laughs> to take it off? I was just, I kind of liked that everyone had to wear like clothes thing that like yeah. took away any discernible characteristics of your you loved unique it. person honestly i will say putting the mask on and it was like a eyes wide shut mask not like a yeah. surgical mask i i i longed for the days of when everyone was wearing masks just a little oh, bit really just yeah. like not that i couldn't right now at all times yeah but like when truly it was like oh i'm gonna go to the grocery store and i'm gonna have i love zero it. pressure to say hi to someone i, love if I recognize them. that's why i still i'm uh we're traveling tomorrow i just ordered new masks to wear on the airplane mm. um that's airplane just- for sure because kids love to cough yeah, and also, yeah, I got to be uh, conscious of my medical situation. Oh, that's true. But at the same time, I also love yeah. having like a little face blanket. Yeah. That, I mean, my skin doesn't love it, no. but I love it. And then, I mean, well, you love a face mask that gives you a little hug, which, yeah, by the way, exactly. I have your frozen one for you. You'll keep it. You're getting headaches. Thank you. <laughs> um, okay. I have a couple things on my list. Okay. Um, I got... I have absolutely nothing. Perfect. Well, then we'll go through these things. First of all, (laughs) I have to give a huge shout out to Shane and Courtney from Smosh. Yeah. You know them. Shane tops. They got married. They got married. Yeah. But they've been together for years. It's been completely private. They work together. Two professional sillies. Wow. And they announced their marriage on April Fool's. And so the entire fandom of Smosh was ravaged with curiosity, confusion. Is it real? It is real. Okay. But they announced it on April Fool's and I was like, chef's kisses to everyone involved. This is the absolute perfect way for two comedians that have been keeping their relationship off the record Mm -hmm. because of the work world that they live in to announce to hard launch wow their marriage and that's I a hell was, of a hard that's a hell of uh, a hard launch is like wedding photos see i've never met either of them they're so fantastic i'm sure they are because everyone's obsessed and and they seem incredibly charismatic and they're i they're great i i trust all of that group but yeah. um but wow to go i didn't realize yeah since i don't know much about so them good? i didn't realize that the wedding announcement was also just their relationship announcement yeah the whole thing they kept it private this whole time whole time they've kept it private Obsessed. and then they announced it on april fools i was so i was like squealing because people were so confused freaked out and they could it was like a sincere announcement but because it's on april fools no one was confirming for sure that no one was was gonna like until the next fans weren't gonna freak out yet yeah the next day everyone got their confirmation and have since gotten further confirmation but it really rattled that fandom for 24 hours mazel oh i know congratulations on your beautiful marriage and also oh what a stunt what We're a jealous. stunt. We're One envy. for the record books of the internet. Envious. I loved it. Just had to give a shout out to them. Yeah. Y'all, it is no secret that I am a massive fan of Audible. I have loved them for years and now 
I think it's like the eighth year I've been a member of Audible and using their app to listen to everything from audiobooks to podcasts to original programming. They have so much there. It is not just uh, f- fiction anymore, okay? It is across the board. You can enjoy all of your audio entertainment in one app and you're always going to find best of what you love or something new to discover. They've got audiobooks from every genre, bestsellers, new releases, celebrity memoirs, mysteries, thrillers. Oh, do they have some mysteries and thrillers? They've got this thing going. It's called the March to May Mystery, okay? And now more than ever is your time to embrace the breathtaking, sinister, and shocking tales that have you enthralled, especially with brand new exclusive thrillers from best-selling authors who are guaranteed to keep you gripped. They've got female writers, heroines, celebrity narration, multicast productions with immersive sound design. You guys, it's not like you're just listening to someone read. They are creating entire environments and worlds to really keep you on the edge of your seat. Or if you don't like a thriller, if you don't want to be a little scaredy pants, well, don't worry, they have everything else. Like for example, you know, we have our book club, Barflies. Grace just did House by the Cerulean Sea which is also on Audible, and I am doing The Idea of You, which is a rom-com that is about to be a movie that comes out with Anne Hathaway. So I thought, why not we read the book and have the option to hear the book read to us? So get in that action. Try Audible because I'm telling you, you are going to be obsessed with it. And if you don't want to listen to a book, well, they have got a podcast, Audible Originals, all types of things that you can use when you're going on your walk, when you're on a plane with no Wi-Fi, when you're working out, when you're doing chores, whatever it is, Audible will keep you entertained. So give it a shot. New members can try Audible now for free for 30 days. Visit audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500-500. That's audible.com slash TMGW or text TMGW to 500-500. Try Audible for free for 30 days. Um, okay, the other big things to talk about. Yeah. Let's see. What do we get into first? Do we talk about the cic- cicada Geddon or do we talk about Jojo Siwa? <laughs> Let's talk about Jojo Siwa because yeah, so, it might be my final push of brain. Yeah. Well, listen, so many of you I asked today on Instagram what we should talk about because I knew we'd both be a bit brain dead. And the overwhelming majority of responses is to discuss the Jojo Siwa brand shift rebrand okay here's the thing i'm i feel like i'm now i'm at the point of mentioning tiktok that i sound like a grandma no you sound sound like like i sound like a grandma who just found facebook i'm like tell me everything no because i I don't use it that often i fell into quite a pit of jojo siwa yeah you're the one that told me about this in the first place well it was pre-karma being released where she was just really going hard and promoting it yeah and like it was just so funny because all of the comments were just like like it would be like showing a movie in 10 second increments and being like, you're not going to believe this movie. And everyone was like, we've seen it now. You know what <laughs> yeah, I mean? Like we, what? we've you, learned the choreography. We, we know, know who this. dies at the end. Yeah. It's like, this is a three minute song with yeah. a music video. You can only show too, so much BTS. But what killed me is as we all know, there is the dance, mm. the chaotic dance mm-hmm. with the craziest first move I've ever seen in my life mm-hmm. with the, you know, the one the, Oh, yeah, that yeah, dance. Yeah. Right. So she was doing it nonstop. <laughs> People are learning it. But here's what's really pissing me off. <laughs> Get it out. Look, you're not. This is I mean, she. OK, I'll go say what you're getting. Yeah. Here's what uh, here's what I'm going to say is she went on vile files, which I cannot just say vile files. I don't know why vile he's files. got that A in his vile name. Files. I say vile files. Yeah. It's like Vidalia Onion. I'm like, vile vile files. Files. she went on the vile files <laughs> and tried to act as if she was absolutely like joking that it was actually guerrilla marketing to make the dance that bad and things because she knew that it would go viral oh. in an ironic way. And oh. I don't buy that for a second. Really? Okay. Not at all. Cause that was my kind of question because look, uh, we take talked- over. You're the nice one. Uh, no, this is, <laughs> It's, I get it. It's not a cute look to be like a 38 Troll. year old girl talking about 20 year old just expressing themselves. Look, she's Her incredibly rich. She's going to be great. Yeah. The, the article I just read is that she said she spent 50 grand on her teeth. They asked her on a red carpet recently at the Glad Media Awards. Uh, what what's the most expensive thing she was wearing? And she said 
quote, my teeth. Wow. These motherfuckers cost me 50 grand. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Uh, yeah. I like that. That is so. <laughs> and she's talked about her veneers before. I guess she said they look so white because she picked out the whitest color. Oh, wow. Okay, um, good for her. Anyway, she is having a rebrand yeah. that, look, is not for me. So it makes sense that it makes me cringe. Right. Uh However, Who is it for? That's the question. I don't understand what the rebrand is that she's like, I'm a badass now. Yeah. But I also look, she's an incredible dancer. Like the dancing in the music video is the most fun thing to watch. But it's the messaging like on top of the dancing. <laughs> that is just like it's the air humps for me. Yeah, it's the air humps. And also, I thought she was saying because she shows up in a fish costume like oh. uh, on the shores, where did you see where she's swimming and she's not on a deserted island and now she's got like fish gills. Oh yeah, on the it. black outfit. She yeah. went to a red carpet, right? But it's like all of a sudden, I thought she was saying karma is a fish. Oh, and I no. was like, what <laughs> is going on? No, here's what else. Okay, two things I'll say. One is I watched the music video yeah. and I just I'm genuinely still a, just a little confused which isn't what i think you're going for on the storyline yeah did, it's who just she that cheat on i don't know who's the side piece did and she who's get, the main girl did she i don't get know cheated on there's and she's just some girls are spinning in and out right. and she's getting real close nose to nose it's all nose to nose there's no kissing it's all nose to nose 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 nobody That's how knows it was. but i'm just I, I was like okay now i'll understand what the plot of this song is and i left more confused yeah who's karma coming for her or is someone it, else i didn't know if is it was she like, in a bad or she's cheating on someone i think it was that she cheated on someone and now karma's coming back because now that person is sleep. So <sighs> why is she dressed like Kiss? That's a big. Where's question. that part coming? Well, you know, she's always she's always loved the '70s stuff. She like yeah. she's gone full Dave Elton for Bowie. birthdays. She did um she did like a full Elton John birthday. Like mm -hmm. she definitely leans into like the garish um of that age. Yeah. But this is why it's so crazy. And this was the second thing that annoyed me. And yeah. once again, we realize how sad it is that. I'm a 40 year old talking about this right now. Everyone is having discourse Listen. about it, which means that's why I'm like, is she this trickster character that like uh, does know that people are going to cringe at this? So she pushes harder into that lane. I mean, there's I trolling know. and then other types this. OK, it's this quote that makes me go that she's not trolling us. Yeah, yeah. And that is because she gave a quote to I forget Billboard. what Billboard where she goes, I'm trying to create my own type of genre. I'm calling it gay pop. Yeah. And Every single person I mentioned, though some is more rock, some is more whatever, David Bowie, Queen, Elton John, people that she's idolized. It's like you knew they they're guy, gay icons, right? Like besides everyone else, besides everyone else yeah. who is out and proud and creating music. Tegan and Sarah did a full like duet or stitch or whatever really? on TikTok where like she goes like, gay pop and it just cuts to them front facing camera like... <laughs> I don't know what she thinks she's doing that's new. That's new. <laughs> like, I am all for express yourself. Me too. But when you're claiming that you are innovating a space that is so wildly saturated, I and I'm no music academic. We all know no, this. No, but we don't think we're revolutionizing two idiot podcasts. Not at all. Not even close. Uh, I do think that that whatever... PR media yeah. training uh, thing that that came up to say feels a little like, um, huh? <laughs> yeah, no, it's definitely like, where's your PR wrangler? Here's what I'll say. I think JoJo is wildly talented. Super talented. Even more so than that, she's been working since she was like, I don't know, seven years old. Like, yeah. I'm I'm tired. I can't imagine. Like, she has been going. She has energy for days. Going nonstop and also like created a friggin' empire. So yeah. like, c give dues where they are due. But also use some of those millions and millions of dollars you made and hire some better PR people. <laughs> it just, I, it's like, I... I am confused by it uh, and also like everyone's talking about it. So right. like she's getting exactly what she wants. Right. And I don't think she 
it like I everyone's affected by negative commentary, of course. Everyone's human, but I don't, I don't know. know. She seems super human. Yeah, I don't think that I don't think that she would care. I think she kind of loves opinion. that people are cringing over this. But what I will say, I don't and know. I gotta say, yeah, because you and I watched Dance Moms and yeah. we loved it. And you know, it is quite problematic on a rewatch. Yeah. Uh just like in America's next top model all that jazz you were watching you're like oh this is my this is psychologically like a, a long-term effects yeah but what i will say mm-hmm. is in jojo's yeah. world like she there was a minute there where maddie was going off she was in the scene yeah, video yeah. she was acting whatever yeah and like and then jojo just fucked jojo up. said hold my corona light <laughs> <laughs> And then ah. turned around and started just, but she still got a ponytail. I thought the ponytail was retired. I thought that was she done. She still rocks the ponytail. She was like, I'm going for a massive rebrand. And she was like, cause I put some rhinestones in my ponytail. I also don't like, if you're creating a new genre of pop, don't cosplay as a musician that already like had that whole look. Oh yeah. You mean kiss? Yeah. Yeah. And so I'm like, if you're creating something new, but you're dressed in a costume of literally what someone else wore, I'm confused, but you know what? She's got confidence for days. Here's what I'll say. As much as I'm like talking shit and and whatever right now. Yeah. I'm absolutely excited to see what new content has put up about her. I'm fascinated. Yeah. She I am is, watching it through and through. She's this, fueling the creative yes, masses. Jojo, if this is your intention, then... We are fed. We are fed. We are fed, mama. We ate. You (laughs) ate and we are fed. Uh, Mama. I can't wait. Mama. I cannot wait. It's also Um, just hilarious because she's. What happened to her voice? How is this crazy? (laughs) (laughs) Is that part of the rebrand or is that normal? No, I think that's legitimately how she talks. And I also think she's probably just been really overworked yeah so i think she's just like it's just scratchiness yeah yeah okay but, yeah. i thought she was like playing my it up. dream podcast guest. <laughs> let's what did she say let's spice it up and bring my ex on <laughs> she, said, and then, she said let's pivot. spice it up probably one of my exes probably one of my exes five six seven eight pivot <laughs> but uh, i do love and i'll say this i love that i'm just ebb and flowing between like me being a bitch and then also being like but i gotta give it to her yeah because i will say that's a the lot thing of- it's a paradox it, it is. is a like that's what i'm saying it's so confusing because i'm like i'm trying to figure it out but i don't think i'm meant to figure it out no but i will say what i do love yeah is people because of the choreography yeah. that she's just shoved down our throats yeah um <laughs> by my own curated algorithm yeah. um people will be like oh she can't dance and she's like stitch that with like her doing like 10 turns yeah she's an like, incredible trained yeah. dancer like that's the thing is that you cannot criticize her abilities right it's the artistry I'm criticizing. <laughs> it's the, yeah it's, it's the, the artistry it's uh yeah i mean i would be the 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 proclamation of um creating a new genre is bold mm-hmm. yeah. bold beyond bold and i think the people that do create new genres don't announce it that's true and you know what she should have done this is me pretending like yeah. i'm a pr person yeah yeah <laughs> she should have if she wanted to really shock people yeah she should have done like a very stripped down natural like mm. acoustic something hair not slicked back yeah you know like normal clothes and then and then you can do the club mixes and then you can go crazy but like no one is surprised yeah that jojo siwa is showing up to places looking the way she's looking this is not a rebrand <laughs> yeah, this is just being this, like hey i'm right. legal to drink now i well she's only 20 i oh. think oh and she, why do you choose this age but it's yeah it's a lot of like bedazzling still yeah for something that's supposed to be i don't know maybe more punk rock but no it's gay pop it's gay pop first of its kind first of its kind incredible my dears. Uh, but you know what I will continue to watch the discourse unravel. I mean, truly, I could watch it all day, and I do. And that's yeah. why I'm up till 1.30 in the morning <laughs> and getting migraines the next day because I've just watched Jojo, 50 different accounts do the JoJo dance. Yeah. I'm just sitting in bed doing this in my sleep, <laughs> just doing the move. Anyway, guys, wow. we did it. We really, there was a minute there we thought, I don't know if we can do this, but yeah. we did it. We persevered. I'm proud of us. We have not stopped talking since 9 a.m. 
Yeah, and we should stop at some point. <laughs> we like, should. I feel like one of those radio hosts that goes all day and you're like, how do they do it? Because they've dissociated from their bodies That's and true. their minds are just sort of loosely controlling their lips. It's just noises at this point. It's just eonk. Yeah. Um, okay, well, uh, thanks for listening as always. Thanks for listening, you guys. Um, I'm going to be traveling, so our yeah. podcast will be a little remote for the next few times. But when I get back, yeah. we are doing a live stream for 420 on our Patreon. It is going to be speaking so of genre breaking artistry. <laughs> wow, we're really going. We have wor- the name weird in our podcast, and yeah. we do 420 streams. Like, um, maybe we get so critical <laughs> of JoJo because we see ourselves in JoJo. Yeah, maybe okay? we do, but it's going to be two really fun. Women that have broken ground on the duo of female comedians <laughs> podcasting. We get you, JoJo. We it is get scary it. being the first to do something wow. of this generation. We're going to leave you with that. <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> this got weird. <laughs> <laughs>